So, the question is today, did the second game take place after or before the Bite 87? Let's find out. Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's 2 uh, video. Now, um, today we have another theory. Now, this theory is that is the second game actually a prequel? Or if you guys do not know what a prequel is, is it, um, did it take place before the first game? Now, you may be wondering, Zombie Lord, you're freaking stupid. The game takes place after because there's new animatronics and stuff now um yes this may be true and all but really you gotta look at the facts here so let's get right into this okay so there are a few logs hint that the, um, the game begin the prequel to the first game such as the first game mentions in the first call they used to be allowed to walk around during the day but not anymore and in the second game it says they are not around the Rome in, uh, they are not around the Rome even during the day among other hints in the call. Number two, none of the animatronics look anything like the first game, almost as it concepts of designs were taken concept of the designs were taken and made less scary to be more kid friendly. The owners in the first game are cheap as if they are uh, having to save money due to spending too much money on the uh, second game. Four, you get more money in your paycheck in the first game than in the second because um, your minimum wage would go up over time. So that's probably why. Uh, number five, the check in the second game has the date 11-12-87 or November 12, 1987 on it. The first game mentions the bite of 87 and the second game makes no mention of the bite of 87. So the bite of uh, must have happened during or after the events of the second game. Uh, number six, the uh, the first call in the second game mentions that the old animatronics were being uh, retrofitted with some of the new animatronic software, not necessarily all of it. Seven, the calls the calls mention the name of the old diner, not pizzeria called something like Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria or not not Pizzeria Freddy Fazbear Family Diner I'm so used to saying Pizzeria <laughs> um which yeah it means that there, it, possibly in the third game can take place in Fazbear's Family Diner number eight the morning shift suddenly becomes open and the phone guy says he will probably take the night shift himself which means that he might be Mike the first game starts with him explaining that I used to be a night guard before you but this uh, is my last week. Also explain how he was still alive until night four on the game, which he was killed. Uh, number nine. A call mentions that someone has stolen a golden Freddy suit. Also, the cops are beginning the, the investigation by night four or five. Number ten. The animatronics in the first game were not phased by flashing lights. Yet the new ones are apparently at, um, are for uh, a shut off type of protocol. Number 11, cutscenes show the first game's animatronics and the Chica you see look nothing like the old ones. So, um, yeah, that there alone is, uh, are some theories of the reasons why the game took place before the, uh, first one. Now, if we continue here, the first guard employee took out the suit and began, uh, kidnapping and stealing children after being asked to move to more and shift the body the bite of 87 wasn't a child but the employee who attempted to, who attempted to steal the sixth child who was stopped in an attempt by an animatronic who had earlier in the week seen him as um, take the child in response to being connected to criminal databases bit off his frontal lobe to protect the children now, this would be very well true, because not only, you're probably wondering, like, why would he protect the children? Um, 
in the second game, they say that uh, they're fine around children, the animatronics. They did nothing wrong when they were with the children. It was all fine and dandy. But whenever they're around an adult, uh, the animatronics would kind of take offense and just look at them. I believe they said that at night four, if I'm correct. Um, the animatronics were upgraded, and a new exoskeleton made that the, in the designs. As an attempt to replace the cute animatronics, which were um, confiscated for the police to investigate the deaths of the missing children. Uh, the company by the first game is now in a lot of debt for paying debt for paying uh, to get in the new exoskeletons, dealing with the police, paying the families of the dead children, etc. And must save power and money to keep this place running at the point, which is why. In the second game, you had the run on battery uh, instead of the lights being on, like in the first, I mean, the second game. Uh, the reason why the phone guy is afraid of the old animatronics is that the old business they were, they had been in closed due to some incidents uh, involving the animatronics becoming hostile or malfunctioning due to the time being when the animatronics were first made and tested. Meaning that the, um, that they rebuilt pretty much here's what it means they built the um the creepy animatronics that you see in the first five nights of freddy's at the diner the freddy fazbear diner however they were broken down since then um when they went into the reopening of it at freddy fazbear's pizzeria um in the second game and since they didn't have too much money they just rebuilt um they just um fixed them in the second game that is why I mean the first game. That is why the uh, they used the creepy ones instead of the um, new ones. Anyways, the tampering done in the first game may have been done by the marionette, who seems to have some influence on the events of the first game. Due to the cutscenes revealing he was there, um, I don't know if you guys know, but in Night 5, when you uh, beat it, you will actually see the marionette uh, in the original Five Nights at Freddy's place. Meaning that the Marionette must have been at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, meaning that this can either be A, he was there from the beginning, meaning that maybe Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, maybe that did come first. I highly doubt that, but maybe he, that did come first and the marionette has been there since then. Or it can just mean that it went from the reopening of the Freddy Fazbear Diner into the second thing, so nothing happened to the marionette. Since it's only a puppet, or so they think. The marionettes took the souls of children and put them in the first game suits, thus giving life, as the um in the mini game does. This is what I have gathered with my friend after closely examining the logs and story of the both games. So this probably blown your mind a bit. I don't really know. You may not believe this. I personally think that the second game is a prequel. Based off all these evidence here. And this is a fastly grown theory too. Like the game's only two days old I think. And already theories are popping out left and right about this. Um, now personally. Like I said I believe in the second game is a prequel. But if you notice. The uh, second game. It doesn't really have that modern feel to it. Like you know, you know what I mean. Like it doesn't really have that modern feel. Like you don't feel like it's from the year 2015. At least that's what I thought when I played it. Um, I didn't really feel like it was present day. I actually felt like it was 1987 or sometime around that. Because one, um, even when you, it hits 6 o'clock, it just seems so 80s-like. Like, like the animation of it. Like, I don't know how to really explain it, but... I don't know. I just, It just really has that 1980s feel to it. Um, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, but another thing is that the Bite of 87, that right there proves a lot. Um, the Bite of 87 possibly could have been Foxy defending a child and not actually killing a child. And they actually had to put him away. Do that, which probably explains why he was, uh, he, he was not put away in any way or form in the second game. We don't even know where the hell Foxy even was in the second game. He was not in the spare room, uh, which is a fact. We, and he wasn't in any other room. And there are rooms that don't have cameras in Five Nights at Freddy's. If you actually look at it, there are rooms without cameras. So could this mean that Foxy's in one of those rooms? Um, and is there still a Pirate's Cove? 
that, that can still be it. That's still a possibility that there can still be a Pirate's Cove. It's just that there's no camera on it. Anyways, so that really concludes my theory about this. I know this theory was a bit of a longer one, but I felt like this was a pretty interesting theory. I want your guys' takes about this. Um, I, like I said, I personally believe the second game's a prequel. Do you get? Do you guys think that the third game coming out will take place at the diner? We don't even know if there is going to be a third game, but if there is, do you think it will take place at the Freddy Fazbear Diner? Who knows? We do not know ourselves. So, anyways, guys, I am Zombie Wars SMT. Hope you guys enjoyed today's theory. If you did, leave a like. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.